Glory to God. This is Brother Victor. I'm in front of one of the neighborhood churches, Christian ministries. Does that sound like church to you? Sounds like pagan worship, doesn't it? But it's a Christian Christian ministry or worship. Listen to that. It sounds like a, a brawl. It sounds like a commotion or pagan worship. You know, all that's missing. You hear that? You hear that? That's not of God. That is not of God. I don't know what, what God they're worshiping in there, but that's not Jesus Christ. Worship to Jesus Christ. That's to some pagan god, to some um, heathen god. The women come here dressed with uh, African garb, with those big old hats and the purple lame and gold lame and that's not to God of the Bible. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Victor Morales. I was just passing by a church where I taped a little bit. The sounds coming from that church, it has, it sounds nothing like anything that pertains to the Lord God Almighty. We serve a God of order who is exclusive, who wants us to worship Him alone and we must worship Him in, in spirit and in truth according to His commandments. Those that have not the Spirit of God are none of His. Worship is very important to Him. This worship that was um, going on, it was worship all right, but they weren't worshiping the Lord Jesus Christ. He says that, Scripture tells us God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. Therefore, if you want to know a true church of God, they are the churches that, that have peace that are not taken with all of this commotion, with all of this supposed worship where everybody is babbling over another. I mean, you could hear in the background somebody go, oh, oh, it was hor it's horrible. This is not to the God of the Bible. And somehow, I would imagine that they know this somehow, but it's their flesh and, and the demons that they allow to possess their body to do this activity, it just takes over them. You know, they, they, they can't do anything else but submit unto the deity that they've opened themselves up to. Um, it's, it's, it's disturbing, to say the least, it's disturbing. But also, you know, I, I'm a man of God. I worship in spirit and in truth. I do nothing contrary to what the Bible tells me. These people do whatever it is they feel. And it is, it, it's a detriment. It's more than just, um, it's more than just disturbing. It is a detriment. It's a detriment to the body of Christ because people look at these people and they consider them to be part of the body of Christ. They are not the body of Christ. You know, they are um, heathen and pagan worshipers. God bless you. Glory to God. We're back again. Does that sound like a riot? I mean, at least today she's, I can, I can discern that she's saying, trust in the Lord, put your faith in the Lord. But she's screaming it. And it sounds like a, like a riot in an inner city cultural area. You know, like in the ghetto. It sounds like a riot. The scripture tells us that God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. That's not peace. And the other day I heard some man in the back row going, ooh, 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 like if he was having uh, contractions. I actually was invited to, to sing at a conference, and the pastor was counting contractions. Contractions don't come by the Spirit of God. They come in childbirth, or they come when a spirit is seizing a body and taking control of your body. They were counting contractions. I thought I was in an operating room. God is not the author of confusion. 
He comes in, in meekness and gentleness, not in word, but in power. Amen? This sounds like a riot. God bless you.